All right, Riley, as for Boston Buckets, race for the second seed in the East and home court advantage when the Celtics and Heat likely meet in the second round of the playoffs. Pick it up in the second quarter. Paul Pierce comes up with a steal, but LeBron is going to steal it right back. Goes over Jermaine O'Neal and the foul. LeBron was fired up, so was the home crowd. Now, the next Heat possession, again, it's LeBron on the run and trying to go over O'Neal. O'Neal the foul, LeBron throws the ball at him. A little scuffle breaks out, everybody involved. Dwayne Wade and Pierce, a little pushing and shoving. Words after the play, you see it again. Looks like O'Neal put a shoulder in him. Hey, Jeff Van Gundy, your thoughts on the foul and LeBron's reaction? You walk a fine line in this game. Right. Do you want to, like, always be the one getting punked? You won't be around long in the playoffs either. And if you're totally undisciplined and take unnecessary technical fouls at the wrong time, you too will not be around for long in the playoffs. O'Neal giving a flagrant one. LeBron, Wade, Pierce all teed up out of the third. Rajon Rondo gets the assist there to Real. It would have been an assist to Real, except Wade is there for the tremendous block. And then Chris Bosch chasing down the loose ball. Bosch and the foul. He's fired up. Watch it again. Rondo's struggles continue. Wade scoring just 13 points per game in the four games against Boston this season with a big block there. He were up 12 after the free throw. Final seconds of the third. LeBron, nice spin. The dish. Joel Anthony. Heat up 15 after three. Fourth quarter. More heat. Mario Chalmers, the alley-oop to LeBron, and then great cut there. 23-point margin, worse for the Celtics. Hey, John Barry, how's your panic meter? Absolutely, you have to be concerned if you're a Boston Celtic fan with the way they're playing. Since the Kendrick Perkins trade, it has not been the Celtic team that we've been accustomed to watching. 9 and 10 in their last 19 ball games, inconsistent on both ends of the floor. This is a team known for their defense, very inconsistent, offensively having trouble scoring the basketball. Jeff Green, since he's come over from Oklahoma City, has not been a factor. My biggest concern, though, is that interior D. Where is Shaquille O'Neal? They've been manhandled in the paint by the Chicago Bulls on Thursday, now by the Miami Heat. Major, major problems if you're a Celtic fan as we approach the NBA playoffs. All right, check this. When the Celtics entered TD Garden on March 9th to play the Clippers, Boston had the second-best record in the NBA. They lost that night, 108-103. Haven't been the same since. Since that March 9th, the Celtics is 9-10. and 10. They had the lowest points per game in the entire league. James was there for the Heat on Sunday. 27 points, 11 of 19 shooting from the floor. Also chipped in with seven assists, five boards, and four steals. The Heat, they finally beat the Celtics 100 to 77 to take a one game lead in the race for the two seed in the East. Doris Burke with Miami State and Sunday. It was physical. It was intense. Pearson Wade pushing and shoving each other. Most importantly for the Heat, it was a win over the Boston Celtics. After losing the first three games of the season series to Boston, Miami might have made a statement just in time for the playoffs. This was, you know, this is a playoff atmosphere tonight. Nobody wanted to lose. And we know what we're playing for. You know, we're playing for the number two seed. That's better than the three seed. So, you know, that's what we're, that's what we're aiming for. And we got it done. We can beat them. That's it. They've beaten us three times. They have the series lead. Um, I think for us as a team, this is our first time together beating them as a team. Um, so, you know, just getting over that hump that we've been talking about. We got over today, but I thought we had our chances in other games. We just, we wasn't a team that they was. I think today we proved that we're a much better team um, in this game than we was in the previous three. This game tonight means nothing if we come out there tomorrow and don't play with the same aggression, um, the same intensity. We have to understand that, you know, we have no time to look back. You know, it's just straightforward. And, and I think with the veteran ball club that we have, um, you know, we will approach it that way. Chris Bosch offered a word of caution when asked if this Celtics team was different than the one they met in the prior three meetings. He said, let's not downplay this team. Remember, in the second half of last season, they basically parred in, but they ended up being just one quarter away from an NBA championship. In Miami, Doris Burke, ESPN.